Hello everyone, I'm Captain Ron, and welcome to our channel. In this video, let us understand the effect of a ship's center of gravity when shifting, loading, or discharging of weight on board. We will also calculate the vertical distance on the shift of the center of gravity in order to determine the ship's final kg. This video is divided into three parts. Part 1 covers the movement of a ship's center of gravity when shifting a weight or cargo already on board. In part 2, it covers the movement of the ship's center of gravity when adding or loading a weight on board. And in part 3, covers the movement of the ship's center of gravity when discharging a weight on board. All parts of this video include a single weight problem in calculating the vertical movement of the ship's center of gravity and determining the final kg. This particular video only covers part 2, which is the movement of the ship's center of gravity when adding or loading a weight on board. Kindly check the link in the description below for the part 1 and part 3 of this whole video. But before I proceed, could you do a small favor for me to like and share this video? If you are new to this channel, do not forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Thank you very much. Now for the effect of a ship's center of gravity when loading or adding a weight. If this is the ship's transverse section, and let us assume that the ship's center of gravity will be here, along the centerline. If a weight will be loaded on the main deck, with a weight center of gravity here, marked as a dot and labeled small g. The ship's center of gravity or g, will move directly towards the center of gravity of the weight being loaded. Let us assume that the new ship's center of gravity or g will be here, and marked g1. If you observed in this example, there are two movements of g. The vertical shift, which is from g to gv, and the other movement is the horizontal shift, from g to gh. But in this particular scenario, we will only consider the vertical shift which is the ggv, since our concern is only kg. For the horizontal movement of G, it will be discussed in another video which is the topic of list or ship's listing. So in this case, the effect will be an increase in Kg and a decrease in initial metacentric height or Gm. The next scenario will be the loading of a weight in the lower hold. Let us assume that the ship's center of gravity is here before loading a weight. Then a weight is loaded into the lower hold, in which the weight center of gravity is here, marked as a dot, and labeled small g. So the ship's center of gravity will move directly towards the center of gravity of the weight being loaded. We will assume that the new g will be here marked as g1 after loading. And the vertical shift of g will be here, marked as gv. The horizontal movement of g is not our concern in this scenario since we are dealing with the vertical movement of the ship's center of gravity or kg. So in this case, the effect will be a decrease in final kg and an increase in the initial metacentric height or gm. Next scenario will be. We will fill in or pump in ballast water in the ship's wing tank. If this is the ship's wing tank, we fill in this one with ballast water. We will assume that the tank's center of gravity when full of ballast water will be here, marked as a dot and labeled small g. So the ship's center of gravity will move directly towards the center of gravity of the weight being loaded. We will assume that the new G will be here marked as G1, after filling in ballast water. And the vertical shift of G will be here, marked as GV. So in this case, the effect will be an increase in Kg and a decrease in the initial metacentric height or Gm. To find the Kg or Vcg of the weight inside the tank, you can refer at the ship's sounding table. I will make a separate video on how to use the ship's sounding table, kindly check the link below. Next scenario for the effect of ship's G, when adding a weight is by filling in or pumping in water ballast in the double bottom tank. If this is the ship's double bottom tank, if we fill this with water ballast, and the center of gravity of the tank is here, marked as a dot and labeled small g. The ship's center of gravity will move directly towards the center of gravity of the weight being loaded. We will assume that the new G will be here marked as G1, 
after pumping in ballast water. And the vertical shift of G will be here, marked as GV. So in this case, the effect will be a decrease in Kg and an increase in the initial metacentric height or Gm. Again, to find the Kg or Vcg of the liquid inside the tank, you can refer it to ship's sounding table. Formula for calculating the vertical rise or down of G is GGV is equal to weight added times distance divided by the ship's displacement plus the added weight where small w is the weight being loaded. Small d is the vertical distance between the ship's g and the g of the weight being loaded. Capital W is for the ship's displacement. Let's have an exercise for adding weight. Calculate the final kg, if 2000 tons of cargo is loaded in the upper deck at kg or vcg 11.2 meters. The ship's initial displacement is 18,000 tons, with an initial kg of 8.75 meters. So GGV is equal to 2,000 tons, times the difference of the VCG of weight added, which is 11.2 meters, and the ship's initial kg, which is 8.75 meters. Just subtract lesser from greater. Divided by 18,000 tons which is the ship's displacement, plus 2,000 tons, which is the added weight. We have now 2,000 tons times 2.45 meters, divided by 20,000 tons. Cancel the tons unit. So the vertical shift of G is 0.245 meters. The vertical shift of G from its initial position to GV after loading is 0.245 meters. To find the final kg, we have the initial kg, which is 8.75 meters, we will add the GGV which is 0.245 meters since the effect of loading is an increase in kg. Our final kg after loading is 8.995 meters. That is how to calculate the final kg when loading a weight. Let us have another exercise. Calculate the ship's final kg. If 80 tons of ballast water is filled in or pumped into a ship's double bottom tank, with a kg or vcg of 1.8 meters. The ship's displacement is 4,500 tons with an initial kg of 4.25 meters. Let us assume that the center of gravity of the filled tank is here, marked with a dot and labeled small g. Since the ship's center of gravity will move directly towards the center of gravity of the weight being loaded. We will assume that the new position of the ship's G will be here, marked as a dot, and label it G1. We need to determine first the vertical shift of the ship's center of gravity or GGV. The formula for calculating the vertical rise or down of G is. GGV is equal to weight added times distance, divided by the ship's displacement plus the added weight. So GGV is equal to 80 tons which is the added weight, times the distance, which is the difference between the ship's initial kg and the VCG of the weight added. For the distance, we have 4.25 meters minus 1.8 meters, just subtract lesser from greater. Then, divided by the ship's displacement which is 4,500 tons, plus the added weight of 80 tons. We have now 80 tons, times 2.45 meters, divided by 4,580 tons. Cancel the unit tons, we have the vertical shift of G or GGV equal to 0.043 meters. To find the final kg, we have our initial kg which is 4.250 meters, then apply the vertical shift of g or ggv which is 0.043 meters. Since the direction of the shift of g is downward, the effect is a decrease in kg, so we will subtract the ggv. Our final kg is 4.207 meters. To find the weight of the ballast water inside the tank, you can use the ship's sounding table provided on board. In this particular exercise, the free surface effect of the ballast water inside the tank is not included in calculating the final kg. 
I will make a separate video on how to find the free surface effect to determine the fluid kg and fluid gm. So this is how to compute the final kg when adding or loading a weight. For parts 1 and 3 of this video, which are the effect of a ship center of gravity when shifting and discharging weight on board, that includes the calculation of the final kg, kindly check the link in the description. That's all guys, and thank you for watching.